Okay, Hades Omega here. Uh, so, uh, I've had some people uh, asking about like how uh, how to use a GPS for navigation. A lot of people are really up in the air whether uh, whether they want to buy a, a, a little GPS unit like this. So, uh, I'm, I'll really tell you, uh, this GPS really is only good for like uh, finding your way around tracks. And like uh, f and like finding your way back from like certain positions and stuff, because uh, you can set a waypoint, or it'll follow your tracks. And if you want to backtrack, you can do that, or find a way out of the forest. Um, I've done it before. I've used it to navigate out of the forest because uh, I was running out of gas one time. But anyway, so today what I'm going to show you to do is how to uh, how to download tracks, upload tracks into your GPS load them onto your GPS and then I'm going to show you how, how to actually use those tracks. Um, I've, uh, I've actually used this for, uh, for dual sport events uh, that require a GPS uh, yeah, for navigation. Um, uh, the, the event was uh, the Yosemite dual sport uh, adventure ride but uh, there's none of those around right now so but tonight I'm, I'm decided to go to a bike party it's been a long time since I've gone to a bike party, and uh, it's just the weather's just never been right, you know that. Or I'm also a little bit sick right now, but uh, I'm gonna see if I can uh, make it out of the house somehow. I've been cooped up at home for a week, so okay. So uh, so this is the ride I'm gonna go to. It's in San Jose, and um, and it's a, a sharks ride. So if you don't know, San Jose is home of the sharks. So uh, I'm not. Unfortunately, I'm not a big Sharks fan. I'll see if I could find some black and teal uh, attire to go with the theme, because every bike party has a theme. But anyway, so um, so you want to go find some tracks. So usually, um, so what I use for tracks is I use Ride with GPS right here. Um, and uh, let me see where you can download this. Okay, so you just click on that, and it takes you to Ride with GPS. So what I use, I use Ride with GPS to. Uh, okay, that didn't go to where I wanted to go. This is my Ride with GPS account. Uh, oh, here it goes. So the route link. So I mean, uh, this is this will work for a dual sport event. It'll work for a bike party. Uh, it's the same thing. It's instead of using a motorcycle, I'm going to use a bicycle. So you just click on the route link here, and it'll take you to the route. So this is the route for the bike party. It's in San Jose, California. Um, it takes you to a link, uh, a website called Ride with GPS. So sorry, this lamp is in the way. Um, but uh, so I use route, Ride with GPS to uh, to actually plan my routes. Um, but I will show you how to do that at a later time. It's, it's kind of cool. It shows you all the routes, all the legs. There's a little cue sheet here on the side, and um, and it has like little elevation plots. It tells you what the grade is. He looks um, like we're probably gonna do a one percent grade today. It's a uh, yeah, pretty easy ride. Um, yeah, so we're gonna head all the way to Saratoga here. I have some info here: the Sharks ride in San Jose. This is the distance, the elevation. What well, it's good for? Mountain biking and cy cyclocross. I don't know what the hell cyclocross is. I never heard of that. Um, yeah, so that's the ride I'm going to be doing tonight. It was created yesterday, I think. No, 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 it was created a couple days ago. So uh, anyway, so you gotta down, you got to download the track. Um, and uh, I, I'll, on a later video, I'll show you how to actually make these tracks. Um, it's a little tricky, but it, it works. So what I want to do is I want to download the GPX. So what you're looking for is a .gpx file. Let me move the camera here. So there it is. Dot GPX. So include waypoints, and I guess so. Oh, okay. I can't do it with my account. Wah. Include queues. I don't really need queues. Reduce points to 500 points. I hope I don't need to do that. So, uh, so this is for like older GPSs. Um, some GPSs they can't handle too many points. This isn't a lot of a uh, track, so uh, I'm pretty sure I don't need that. Um, I've had that problem before, so uh, yeah. So excuse my voice. Uh, so only Q sheet entries, not the entire track. Not useful for most. You most likely want the GPS track. So this is what you're looking for: GPS track. So just click on that. 
and it says, hey, I'm downloading. So you want to go open that. Uh, you want to open that location. Um, and there it is. So uh, let me just copy this to its own directory. Okay, so there it is. Sorry, so this is my GPS. It's a, um, a Garmin E-Trex. Get the light on that. This is a Garmin E-Trex 20. I also have a Garmin GPS map. Oh yeah, so I guess maybe I'll show you how to do it on both. But uh, this is uh, the Garmin uh, GPS map 7.8. I'll show you how to do it on both of these actually. Um, every GPS is different. You have to like kind of figure out how to use your own GPS. Um, I'll tell you the um, both of these are made by Garmin, but they their navigation screens are a little bit different. So uh, all right, so so what you need to do first is you need to plug in your USB cable. This is your USB port. So then I've gone ahead and plugged it into my computer. You should hear a little bing bong sound or something. Uh, actually, it takes a. It actually does take a few minutes to start up. Uh, so you you should see the Garmin logo come up, and there's a little okay. USB symbol, and then it'll start up. And then you hear the, hear the little bing bong sound, and uh, eh, something wrong with the car, and blah blah blah. Uh, oh yeah. Also, um, you want to make sure you have a. Um, well, there's a card. Uh, this is the SD card inside the GPS. Um, you can load maps with the, the GPS, but I'm not going to use that. You want to put it in. Uh, you want to put it in the main drive. So the main drive says Garmin Etrex 20. Open that, and uh, you want to go to Garmin directory, and then you want to go to GPX, and then under GPX, so I see I already have a, a shit ton of. Uh, uh, tracks here. You should really just take all these out, but just remember what name it is. And uh, I'll tell you, some of these GPS are faster than others. Um, this one is very slow. Just a little hiking GPS, the 20. Uh, but it, it'll it'll get the job done. Um, all right. So what you want to do is uh, you want to go find your uh, your GPX file, copy it here. Boom, right there. Only 90 KB. This doesn't take up a lot of space. And then, uh, and then uh, go ahead and uh, unplug it. Okay, should disappear from the screen. And then let's get this party started. So fire it up. The screen must be on like the lowest setting or something. It's so hard to see. So um, the Etrex 20 takes a while. Uh, I'll do another, uh, okay, there we go. Uh, depending on how much junk you got in it, um, is how much, so I'm going to make the screen brighter. It's like no backlight right now. So there you go. Let's see it now. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to go to Tracks, Track Manager, and then you want to go find that. Um, it's SJ Bike Party 2016, something about the Sharks ride. Oh, there it is. The sharks, right? So you can't really see all of it if the name is really long, but that's the one, June. So you can do a couple things here. Um, you can delete it. You can archive it. You can view map. You can even check the elevation plot. Uh, never even never seen that before. Um, okay, looks like it's pretty flat. I guess <laughs> you can show it on map. Oh, never mind. You can show it or hide it on the map. Um, can view the map. So what you want to do is uh, just uh, view the map and hit go. And bam, there it is. It's loaded. Um, another way you can do that is if you go to uh, where to, it'll say, hey, um, uh, we're, we're already uh, looking for something. You say stop navigation, go back to where to, and then you want to go under tracks and then go back to that file. Uh, Bike party tune. There it is. 
Uh, geez, you can't really see it. Um, what the hell? I think the tracks is I think the track is like red or something. It's horrible because everything else is red. Okay, so I'm not gonna get any GPS signal because I'm in the house, but Ugh, Mill Valley Campground, yep. Yeah, we're definitely not near Mill Valley Campground. So we wanna go to like San Jose. So yeah, um yeah, like I said, I don't have GPS signal, so I'm gonna have to just kind of show you what the track looks like. Actually, we'll go, I'll go outside, but uh, see there, that's what the track is looks like in purple. Um, you can set the track color to different way, uh, color you want, just so it looks different than everything else. Purple works for me, um, so that's the track. Uh, okay, let me show you how to do it on the GPS map seven eight. Sorry, here's the GPS map seven eight. Don't think this has any batteries. Let me go get some batteries for it real quick. All right, so here it is. This is a GPS map seven eight. This is a badass GPS. Um, it's fast. It's much. It's much faster than this E-Trex one. Like the, the the processing speed is faster, so you can like go around and do stuff faster. But the interface is different, and it's, it's freaking ugly looking. It looks like a looks like a '90s cell phone, you know. Um, I heard it floats <laughs> if you drop it in the water. Um, but like one of the cool things, the why I like it for the motorcycle better is because it has this, it has its own proprietary, um, uh, what is it, power port, so you never run out of power on it, but, um, the mount, uh, this is the mount for it, um, okay, so, uh, so what you want to do is, you know, hook your, uh, USB cable up, alright, there you go, hooked it up, you get tell it's hooked up in the back there. Sorry, my computer's kind of messy. There it is, it's loading up, loading up. So you'll see at real speed how long it takes for this thing to boot up. It should boot up faster than this, but maybe what's not to the computer. There's probably a lot of junk in this GPS. Okay, so there's mm -hmm. a little USB logo. And this should pop up. Okay. okay. You don't want to. You don't want to open the card. Just go here, and it's basically the same thing as the other uh, other GPS. Um, just go to Garmin. Go to GPX. Go copy this over. Ugh, I got a bunch of Baja tracks and waypoints here. Yuck. But I'll show you the processing power of this bad boy. It's fast. All right. So I go ahead and copy that there. Go ahead and unplug the GPS. Bam. There it is. Okay. GPS turns off. Fire it up. I'll show you how fast this thing starts up. It's awesome. So the other one took a couple, like, a little while to start up. Look at how fast this thing goes. Bam. It's already started up. It thinks we're in Baja right now. <laughs> okay. Um. So what you want to do is uh, this one has a it doesn't have like a menu thing it has like pages and you could set the pages um, but the page you want is track manager um, and it, and that takes you to the same the same uh, track thingy as uh, this one so you can see this one uh, you have to just go to the menu or you back up into the main menu and you go to tracks very very similar right so do the same thing you did on the other one. Just go to, um, geez, it's here, there it is. See how much faster this one is? Uh, San Jose Bike Party 2016. Go enter. Let's view the map. There it is. Wow, look at that. See how much more detail it is and how, how fast it pulled it up? You want to click go. And then uh, I'll just show you that. Well, it's okay. It's already loaded. Um, so, uh, all right. So that's how you do it. Um, I'll show you outside when I get GPS signal. Um, like I said, and there's another way you can do it. You can um, so so like on this one, where you, uh, you go to you go to where to. The where to here is an actual button. This find button here. Just click that. 
And then uh, you can either go find another or stop navigation. I want to stop navigation. And then hit find again. And then you want to do find tracks. And then you want to go to back where your thingamajigger is, right there. Go. Bam. It's loaded. Uh, awesome. Alright, so uh, let's uh, let me go. Let's go outside and I'll show you how to set this up.